Hey, folks, we're ready for another show for Simply Trade. We've got a, uh, a special one here for uh, today, a Simply Trade events. Uh, Renee Cucarelli is sitting in for Lalo Solorzano, and I'm hoping that I have pronounced that right. I'm, I think I'm getting better at that, Renee. And, Andy, you're better than I am for crying out loud. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, with that, I will say that it is springtime. It is uh, the, the beginning of, we've already had uh, several conferences that we've been able to attend uh, from a Simply Trade. And so there's more and more coming out here. Okay. So we have today, we're going to talk about the NCB FAA. And uh, for those that don't know what that is, let me see if I get this right, Megan and JD, and see this, what uh, we're going here. The National Customs Brokers and Freight Forwarders Association. Is that right? So close. So close. The National Customs Brokers and Forwarders Association of America, 1F, 2 A's. It took me a long time to learn that after I. <laughs> well, I don't feel so bad, but you know me, my elevator doesn't make it all the way to the top sometimes. So, <laughs> okay. So, thank you for uh, getting that right. All right. So, JD Gonzalez, you are the, uh, the elected chair or president, or what's your title now with the, the association? I'm currently, I actually am the current president of the NCBFAA, and I'm representing over 1,300 members. So, Thanks for Love inviting us here. All right. And we also have, so JD Gonzalez is on, and then we have Megan Montgomery. Megan and I go back a ways, and what a great, just, you are such a gem, and I, I just love being around you. You're always just a blast to be with. Thank you. I tell my members, and I mean it, every day I wake up and I feel lucky to get to have this job and, and to represent them. So it's really wow. fun. I love it. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about, now you are, uh, Megan, you're in the D.C. area there, right? Yep, I'm the executive director of the NCBFAA, so I get to work with J.D. in my 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 primary role as, um, as the coordinator and J.D.'s, thankfully for us, his volunteer role as president. From your position in all that, Trying to get folks involved, I, I imagine there's the old uh, 80-20 rule, you know, 80% of the work's done by 20% of the folks involved, and that, that 20% is always so active. Um, are you seeing that, or do you see a broader base of involvement and volunteerism, if you will, from the membership? Yeah, so we we are very lucky. You know, when I when I left AAEI, I thought I will never love an organization more than I loved AAEI and my members. And then I got to the land here at NCBFAA, and I found out that that wasn't true. Right? I I have a special spot in my heart for AAEI. But man, Andy and Renee, our members come together. They come together with their competitors, which I think is you know important to note to solve problems that affect our clients. You know, our industry, our, our all of our, our folks that are, are doing this work, our transportation partners. And you're right, Renee, you know, what we want as our industry is we want to be partners with valued partners with our clients. When our clients are facing an issue, we want them to come to the NCBFAA. And we're very, very lucky that throughout the government, we are really thought of as not just, you know, another trade association but really the highest level of compliance. We were meeting with CBP yesterday and CBP's comments were, you know, we know that the NCBFAA member is the most compliant, you know, member broker that, that we can find out there because they are, they're active, they're engaged, they know what's going on. And we've got a lot of different folks who are engaged sort of to their need. You know, a lot of our folks are very small shops um, they, they read the MMB, they put in, you know, they email in when they have a question. That's a great way to be involved. A lot more of them sit on committees. Um, you know, they, they helped draft things. They helped, you know, liaise with the local trade associations. There is a place for everyone here at the NCBFAA. Simply Trade is going to be at the conference, so we're going to get to interview some folks. We're looking forward to it. I'm telling you what, it, it's just uh I am really excited, and y'all are going to be so excited with some of the equipment we're bringing. Uh, I'm telling you that, that your conference is going to be the first one that we're going to we're opening up this uh, the, the cameras and the and the, and the audio side of things. So I'm telling you what, you're going to be able to strut around like a 
you know, Banny Rooster in the barnyard. So it's going to be looking good. We, we've got a great lineup, you know, for, for those of you who are not registered, um, watch, you know, watch what comes out from your brokers as, you know, as you touch trade. We've got the commissioner of customs. We've got the chairman of the FMC. We've got David Axelrod. Then we've got a whole bunch of government folks. You know, we really have just, we think kind of the best folks to talk. We've got, we've got a lot of the PGAs to talk about the issues and to send the, the attendees home with immediately actionable uh, information that will make their clients' lives better. And we're, we're really excited. That's really, Perry, if you are a member of the uh, Brokers and Freight Forwarders Association here, make sure that you're looking at what action do you need to take. If you're not attending, be on the lookout to see what you can do, because I know y'all have a very active website. You're updating things and all that, so uh, and, and the communication thereof. So it's like, you know, what action do you need to take away after this conference? JD, any comments from you on your side of things? No, thanks, Randy. And thanks for promoting our, our our event that's coming up here in the next couple of weeks. We start on, I believe, on the fourteenth to the seventeenth, and we're starting off with entertainment with a golf with a golf tournament as well. So uh, hopefully, everybody can attend, and we welcome everybody. And please reach out. I'm always available. I'm looking forward to hear your ideas and anything that we can do to make things better for the association. In addition, to, um, for the conferences as well for future conferences. So thank you. I just want to thank JD and Megan and the whole team at, at the association. I mean, the work you do is phenomenal, important, pinnacle and needed. So thank you for being there. It's just awesome to have you guys. Well, it has been an absolute pleasure. I'm looking forward to seeing y'all and, uh, you know, I, I don't know if it's too late for me to be able to get in, uh, and figure out on the uh, flights and, and all that on the golf. I, I, I love to play golf, but I can't hit the broad side of a barn if my nose was stuck to it. So I don't <laughs> we do, know. We do a round, I think it's called a round robin where the, the number one player in your foursome goes against everybody other's number one player. <laughs> The best well, ball. I, Is that best ball? I don't know. I don't play golf, to be fair. I don't so. either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's put this. I'd be far from being that top number one player. I'd, I'd be the one that's the tail dragger there. So, you know. That's all right. All Everybody right. has a good time. That's what's important. Mm-hmm.